Our beloved Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, Happiness consists in four things, a righteous wife, a spacious home, a righteous neighbor, and a convenient means of transportation. And the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, also listed four things that bring bad luck. We will explain everything in order. All eight things that were listed by the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him with the permission of the Lord. And so let's get started. Things that bring happiness. And so first of all, this is a righteous wife, and it is clear that a husband must also be righteous. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, this world is given for temporary use and the best thing that can be used in this world is a righteous wife. A husband has a number of specific duties that he is obliged to perform in relation to his wife. For example, it is reported that Muawiyah bin Haida, may Allah be pleased with him, said, One day I asked, O Messenger of Allah, what rights does his wife have over each of us? He said, You must feed her if you eat yourself, and clothe her if you dress yourself, and you must not hit her in the face or any other parts of her body, nor speak vile words to her nor turn away from her. Neither turn away from her means that a husband should not ignore his wife, refuse to communicate and marital relations with her without good reasons, for example, serious illnesses, and for a long time. Remember, dear viewers, a husband should treat his wife with love and care. Remember, dear viewers, in Islam, a husband cannot beat his wife. He must live together in peace and love. Also the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said in another authentic hadith, the best of you is the one who treats his wife family best, and a righteous wife reality will bring happiness both in this world and in the next, with the permission of the Lord. Secondly, dear viewers, this is a spacious house. A spacious house is a good thing, as crowding affects the state of the soul. Odors accumulate in a cramped room, there is no ventilation, and so on. A spacious and comfortable house or apartment with a sufficient size and number of rooms for family members provides comfortable living conditions, personal space, and coziness. This prevents quarrels and conflicts due to crowding. Also, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, in his supplication asked for a spacious dwelling, saying, O Allah, God Lord, forgive me my sin, make my dwelling place, dwelling spacious, and give me barakat, grace, in what you have endowed me with. And remember, dear viewers, a person does not have to be poor and unhappy to be righteous. The Holy Quran says, Truly, Karun Kori, he was a tribesman of Musa, but oppressed them. We gave him so many treasures that the keys to them were burdensome even for a few strong men. The tribesmen told him, Do not rejoice because Allah does not love those who rejoice. And through what Allah has given you, strive for the last abode. But do not forget about your share in this world. Do good just as Allah has done good for you, and do not seek to spread wickedness on the earth because Allah does not love those who spread wickedness. Thirdly, it is a righteous neighbor, a righteous and kind, decent and well-behaved neighbor who professes goodness and helps people is a great blessing and happiness. Good relations with neighbors are based on mutual respect, assistance and support. Remember, dear friends, Islam is a religion of peace and kindness, friendship and love, and a neighbor as well as a good and kind attitude towards him, occupies a very important place in Islam. Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Usa, do good to parents, relatives, orphans, the poor, neighbors from among your relatives, and neighbors who are not your relatives. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, One day I asked, O Messenger of Allah, I have two neighbors, so which one should I give? This refers to a case where, for example, a person has only a little food and can treat only one neighbor with something and similar cases. He replied, the one whose door is closer to you. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, the best companion before Allah Almighty is the one who treats his friend best, and the best neighbor before Allah Almighty is the one who treats his neighbor best. Also the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Jibril did not stop giving me instructions on the need to treat my neighbor well for so long that I even thought that he would include him, the neighbor, among the heirs. It is also reported in a reliable hadith that Abu Juhaifa, may Allah be pleased with him, said, One day a man came to the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and started complaining about his neighbor. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, told him, Take your things out on the road. Who Abu Juhaifa said, to This man did so, and the people who passed by him began to curse him, the neighbor, and that neighbor, 
came to the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I have suffered from people. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, asked him, And what have you suffered from them? He said, They curse me. Then the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Allah cursed you before people started cursing you. This man said, O Messenger of Allah, I will not repeat this again. Abu Juhaifa said, Then came the one who complained to the Prophet, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and the Prophet, Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, told him, Either you are already safe from his evil, or you have cursed him. And fourthly, it is a convenient means of transportation. Once this vehicle was a horse or a camel, but now, our dear friends, it is a good electric car. A good means of transportation will provide a comfortable and good trip that will take you from one point to another if necessary. And now we're going to tell you four things that bring bad luck. The Messenger of Allah blessings and peace be upon him. In the continuation of this hadith says, Misfortune also consists in four things. A bad wife, a bad neighbor, a bad means of transportation, and a cramped home. And first of all, it's a bad wife. A bad wife means a spouse who does not fulfill her duties to her husband. Such a wife is conflicted and does not care about home and family. Such a wife brings a lot of problems and suffering to her husband. Secondly, it is a bad neighbor. A bad neighbor is someone who causes inconvenience to other neighbors, makes noise, disturbs peace, does not show mutual respect and goodwill. Such a neighbor can be a source of stress and conflict. Such a neighbor can also sometimes have music playing so loudly that headphones barely save from noise. Thirdly, it is a poor means of transportation. There is no need to explain here. Just imagine the car breaks down or stalls, or a tire will pierce somewhere in the middle of a highway or highway or somewhere far from civilization, and you will have to push it or wait a long time for evacuation. Fourthly, it is a cramped house. Imagine seven to eight people share one bathroom and one toilet. May the Lord help all people to find patience and a spacious home and strong faith. All these four things bring suffering, unhappiness, and discomfort. And remember, dear viewers, that there is nothing wrong with asking the Lord, great and holy he is, to bless you and increase your fortune and help you find a righteous wife or a righteous husband, buy a spacious house, a righteous neighbor, and a good means of transportation, for example, an electric car. We ask the Lord, great and holy, that he help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for his help and protection. May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear viewers. God bless you all.